so we are our first real day on our adventure back home. Just a quick pit stop. We elected to go from Wall, South Dakota, which is the Badlands basically, to Sioux City, not Sioux Falls. So we elected for Sioux City, never been here in Nebraska. And we are at the Scenic Park RV Resort. It's a great little park, nice and big park. They have some full hookups. We lucked out, they had two full hookup sites available. The other ones are power and water with no dump. But as you can see, there's a great area along the river here to walk your dogs. Our lot has a little bit of shade, so that will be nice, because we'll actually, uh, we, we had actually planned on making some sloppy joes and some green beans and just a little casual rest up night. But as we were pulling in, I noticed a really nice YMCA, like a really nice YMCA. The park has an agreeance with them and you can get your hand stamped if you wanna go enjoy the pool. We also saw pickleball courts. So I'm gonna Google and find out if they will allow visitors to come play pickleball in the morning. I bet they start really early because tomorrow's adventure is Kansas. We're gonna go to the racetrack actually in Kansas City, Kansas. And it's only four hours from here. So it's not like we have to get an early start. We only have a four hour drive. Why not play pickleball? We're, we're sitting here with Lon and Gwen, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, well, I'm impressed that I remember that. And so we decided that there were these beautiful pickleball courts right here next to our, our spot here in Sioux City, a beautiful YMCA. And we're like, there'll be tons of pickleball players. There's only two, but they're RVers. <laughs> That's one. And they're good pickleball players. Yeah. And so we just played a couple games, but you guys are getting ready to go cycling. And I just thought your philosophy is kind of cool because we're still in that mindset where four to five hours a day, we think five hours is a short day, right? And you guys are like, what? You only go 80 hour, sometimes? 80 miles. A lot of times we just do like an hour in the morning ride and then pick up an hour in the afternoon. And Sometimes we cycle more than we drive. Yeah, we've done that before too. <laughs> yeah, so. And, and I love your philosophy because you guys, how many years have you been full-timers? 17, we're starting our 17th year, yep. That's, That's awesome. awesome. And originally you're from the West. Salt. We're from, yeah, we, we left our jobs in Salt Lake City. We retired early, kept the house for a couple years and then said, nah, we've done this, let's do something different, so. So right now you're on a journey just to wherever the heck you want to go. This yep. is what I love, your yeah. philosophy. We're headed yep. north, or, north of Minneapolis. There's a lot of long, big bike trails up there. Yeah, there's a, something called the Masabi Trail up there. Last year we drove all the way to New York City and back. And we, we cycled almost every day, stopped and cycled almost every day. And I s took the ferry over to Manhattan and I rode the bike trails in New York City. What? Yeah. That's yeah. That is so cool. Our Brooklyn camp, Bridge. Our camp, yeah, I did Brooklyn Bridge by myself and um, Central Park. We camped. She's in, brave. We yeah. camped in Jersey City right on the Hudson and the, the ferry was right there so you could just take your bike and go. Yeah, I, I couldn't, I couldn't ride. I broke my ankle. He had broke his ankle. But when we did our laundry in Jersey City, as I'm carrying my laundry, I see the Statue of Liberty. I was like, <laughs> this is the best laundry day ever. So what, do you remember the name of that park for anybody that wants um, to? Liberty, Liberty Park. And okay. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's just a parking lot and they charge an incredible amount of money. But yep. it's location, location. You're right yep. there at the ferry and the subway. And, yep. It, but, yep. It's, but yeah, you have, they, it's like 135 a night. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yes, it is. <laughs> and you have to put it down and you don't get it back. You can't, there's <laughs> you no refund. Up. Yes, yeah. we, we've ran into that a couple places too when we yeah. rerouted our trip. And then, so out of all of, now do you have a home base park when you say you just, uh, or? In Tucson well, well, we Tucson, do. Well, Tucson, we have a fifth wheel. Okay. And we, we leave it there on site. But on the road, we're on a 22 foot. Wow, so 20, you guys are serious RVers. Yeah, I mean, you've got the both. Foot. We started in a 16 foot scamp and did that for three years and said, I think we love it enough to go a little bit bigger. So That's we've awesome. had the uh, fun finder for, 13, since 13. 2010, yeah. yeah. So, okay, so I'm getting that you guys are avid cyclists, so that probably dictates a lot of the places where you end up. Yep. Yeah. Out of your 17 years so far, what is your favorite place to go? I don't really know, we've hard. seen so many. I would have to say any place with a beautiful bike uh, bike trail. So, well, I got a tip for you. Okay. Uh-oh. Come <laughs> to the Blue Ridge Mountains in North Carolina. We are at a park called Mountain Falls Luxury RV Resort. It's a class A, 
but there's a place right next door that'll take super seas or you know, dead wheels. Any, and dead it's wheels a beautiful anything. spot it's in the beautiful, mountains. And it's some of the best cycling. I have some friends that are big time cyclers, and they said some of the best cycling you can ever do. And there's like 200 waterfalls within a 20 or 30 oh, mile wow. It's a beautiful place in the Blue Ridge Mountains. I think it's called West Gate or West Ridge. Which West is, Ridge is where you can take Yeah, that. but if you call Mountain Falls, hopefully they'll they'll tell you like how you can, because it's the same gate. You it's go through beautiful. the same gate. Okay. Absolutely beautiful. It's about an hour uh, southwest of Asheville. Oh, we, oh, I know, we, I know. We, we've, we've been, we've been we've through there. Blue Ridge, and Blue Ridge, um, I'm sorry, Brevard, North Carolina, they have a new bike trail that they just put in. Now, see, we cheat. We are e-bikers. Oh. We pedal when we want, but with a little a bit of an assist. <laughs> still, I'm old and crippled. We're still <laughs> We're still, on, we're still hold on holding to, on. Old school. Old school. <laughs> old school holding on. Well, man, you guys, this is cool. This was fun to run into you guys and hear your story. And he's going to try to make me now do 80 miles a day, I think. I've been trying to do that. Hopefully we'll see you in North Carolina. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. This is a great place if you just need a nice stop in the Midwest with probably the nicest people. We went and played pickleball this morning. There is that huge YMCA right here, right next door to the RV park. There is big box stores. So if you need to load up on groceries, there's a big Walmart. There was a PetSmart. We got some stuff for Mr. Clyde lots of restaurants that we didn't even get to take in or enjoy and we also found out there's an amazing bike trail here right along this river if you need a place to rest for a couple of days as you're making your adventure out east or west i think this is a nice little stop we normally always stopped at sioux falls which is also great at that casino but this was a great part we had full hookup just make sure when you book your spot that you ask for full hookup because a lot of the spots here are only water and power. But if you don't have to dump, not a big deal. So it passed our test. It was really cool meeting those full-time RVers that gave us a new philosophy on how to RV only going an hour or so down the road and they have no plan. They did say though it's getting harder and harder to be spontaneous because so many parks are getting booked up. Um, we suggested Harvest Host to them so hopefully we gave them some tips. They for sure gave us a few nice tips on some places to go. That's what's so cool about this RVing. You run into people, you share stories, you give each other advice, and then you roll on. <laughs> Which that reminds me, I probably should roll on right now because Skinner's putting the slides in and he's itching to get to Kansas City. Next stop, Kansas City Speedway, baby. We, uh, we called the track president. He said we could come back. Mike wants to brag. The last time he was there, he won the truck race. Thank you very much. That was back in 2009, I believe. So we're gonna make it a trip back to Kansas City. We'll show you the racetrack. And then after that, we're getting closer and closer back to Mountain Falls.